Hello and welcome back. Well, I have uh, already logged in to my uh, AWS console. So here's some background. Uh, we have seen in some of my previous video how to create a an instance. And in that, we have seen whenever you, we create um, AWS instance, we have been given a default VPC in that uh, we could create our instances. So what we can do is, Today we're going to create our own VPC, okay? So in that VPC, we'll create our own subnet, we'll create our own public subnet, private subnet, we'll create our own route table, and we'll create our own internet gateway, and we'll see uh, all those, how we can connect. We will have private uh, subnets and public subnets, and we'll have some NAT instances created, so that the public, uh, uh, <clears throat> so that the uh, public, uh, um, the private uh, instances, they could communicate to the uh, internet. Okay, so let's go forward and see how to create a VPC. So here, go to the VPC section, networking section, and click on VPC. See that I have already a VPC that is my default VPC which was give, given at the time of uh, creation of your account. Uh, you can create the VPC if you click here. You can actually uh, do this way or we can uh, go by uh, another way that is through, uh, let's see how, there are two ways actually. Uh, if you just click here and start your VPC widget. So it will directly take you uh, to create the VPC and you will have to, it will it will be very easy to create uh, the VPC using the wizard. But we'll not uh, use that wizard today. We'll create a completely different way that is our own way, okay? So again, uh, go to VPC, your VPCs, now click here create VPC, okay? Create it, and give a tag, and I'll call it uh, my VPC. And what is the CIDR block? So this is nothing but what is the IP address range you want to uh, give to your VPC. So I'll give it as 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 slash 16, okay? So you see here, uh, I can, it is telling that we cannot create, okay, you cannot create the VPC larger than slash 16, okay? So this is the side where we can create. And tenacity default, there are two options, it will be dedicated default. So if you want dedicated uh, instances, you can, but I'll not do that. Uh, I'll go with the default one, okay? So create VPC. Uh, you see that my VPC is created now. Now, I have subnets section. Now I'm going to create three subnets. So here, uh, you see that I have uh, logged in, uh, there is another site called draw.io. If you want to create a logical diagram of your uh, environment, you can use this site, draw.io, to create your uh, logical diagram whatever you want to do. So here I have just created my complete uh, VPC environment. So you see that, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> uh, I have uh, in the AWS environment, I have one reason, the reason I, am, I, I can choose. And inside that I have a VPC, that is my VPC, and I have given the CIDR as 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And inside the VPC I have one, two, uh, uh, two uh, availability zones, right? So obviously my VPC can uh, span across uh, availability zones. And I have uh, two, one, two, and three subnets. And I want to create these two subnets as public and this subnet as private because I want to keep 
uh, my RDS in, uh, instance or my database instance or application server instances uh, in this subnet, which will be private. I don't want this should be uh, exposed to uh, outside my VPC. Okay, and I want to just create a, a, a DMZ uh, section uh, that I'll keep as public subnet, and I'll create two security groups. One is the DMZ security group, another is the DB security group. And obviously I'll create internet gateway for connecting my public uh, subnets to internet. And um, this is the internet so that internet gateway will connect to internet and uh, the users through the internet can communicate to the VPC. So that, that's my uh, logical diagram. Uh, let's go forward and create, create this architecture inside the VPC. Okay, so here uh, you see that these are the default uh, subnets already created. Now let me create uh, my subnets. So I call it uh, public subnet and 10.0.0. Okay, I'll create it 1.0 slash 24. Or uh, you just this is a name, so you don't have to give it. And here I can uh, create inside which VPC. Obviously, the VPC I have created. Availability zones. I am going to create. Uh, remember one thing: uh, the subnets are availability zone specific. So here, while you are creating uh, the uh, subnet, you are you can define which availability zone uh, you want to create in. So here I have to give the IP cider that is uh, 10.0.1.0 slash 24. This will be my subnet IP. And create. So here, yes, create. So I'll uh, just I have named this public. So for me, it will be, uh, but this by while creating this is not public this will be a private subnet only you know by default all are private so create okay now create another uh, subnet public Ten dot zero dot three dot zero, and this is I have created in second availability zone that is two B, and in my same VPC and IP is ten dot zero dot three dot zero slash twenty four. So yes, go ahead and now create. I am just following my diagram, whatever I have given. This is the uh, 10.0.3 and this, I have kept my DB uh, group or subnet which is private as 10.0.2, okay? So here, create another subnet. I call it my private. That is 10.0.2.0 and in my VPC and I want to create that in the second availability zone. So 10.0.2.0 slash 24. This is the CIDR block. So this is create. Uh, this is just a uh, name, okay? It is nothing to do with private or public. I have to make it a private or public. By default, all the subnets are private. So yes, create. Uh, okay, I got created. Uh, you see that uh, my three subnets got created. Now, I want to create a internet gateway. So let's go ahead and create. You see that already there is a default uh, internet gateway available and that is my connected to my default VPC. Remember that we can create only one internet gateway or BPC. So here I call it uh, my 
I G W my internet gateway. Yes, create. <clears throat> now you see that this is detached. It is not attached to any VPC. So what I have to do is first attach it to the VPC. Attach to the VPC and it asks me which VPC you want to attach. Obviously, I have only one VPC and I'll attach to it. Now it is been attached. Okay. Now in this diagram, I have attached this uh, internet gateway to my VPC created. I have now created all my subnets. Now uh, let's see uh, now uh, go to the internet gateway and uh, go to the route table. Now you see that we have already some route tables. Okay. Uh, this is the default route table. Whenever we create a VPC, it will be a default route table will be created. Now, let me create my own route table. Okay, uh, my route table. Okay, I create that uh, inside my VPC. Yes, create it. Right. Okay, I have created my route table and I want to create and to associate the subnets also to it. Let's do that, do that later, okay, and go to the route. You see that uh, this is a 10.0.0 slash 16 local and it is active. Now go and edit this route table. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to create this uh, and to add a route to the internet gateway which I created. Add a route table and if you just click here it will come as my internet gateway which I created. Just select it and here where you want to what is the destination and I want to give it to everywhere 0 .0 .0 .0 0. That means I want to open this uh, route to outside any server okay, and just save it. Successful and go to the subnet association and now which, which one you want to make a public subnet because you see now now I have add a route, uh, route to uh, the route table. Now edit this and which two I if you see that I have named two public subnets. So now I want to select those which will be sub uh, public and save it. That means what I have done is essentially I have created this uh, subnet, two subnets public and I have attached them to internet gateway. Uh, other way rather uh, I have attached the internet gateway to my VPC and in my VPC I have created a route table and in that route table I have add a route which will be communicating these two public subnets to the internet gateway. That's the route I have added. Okay. Now let's go and check if we have a public subnet or not by creating an instance. Okay. So let's go ahead and create an instance launched instance uh, just select configuration okay here now this is the default VPC it gives us always now I have to change it my VPC and which subnet I want to put this instance to so here and to put into to a that is 1.0. Now assign a public IP to it. Remember if you we want an instance to be accessible from public it should have a public IP assigned to it. Okay. Okay one my VPC public subnet enabled public so it will create a public IP storage. Okay and instance tag I call it uh, my web server 
one. Okay. Let me just give it a name so that uh, it resembles like all the normal public uh, instances or web servers. So web server security group. Okay. Here, um, let me create a security group. I have some existing. No, I have not. So create a new security group and the name is I give my web server my web server security group that means uh, i'll have this security group name and let me add some rules to it now add rule and i want to allow http and also i want to add https both and <clears throat> okay so here um, you see that i i am uh, put okay so this is, I, I want every, just uh, 80, port 80 and 443. Review and launch, okay. Now, you see that, okay. Go forward and launch. I have my key pair already with me. So if you don't have, you can create a new key pair and download the key pair and now launch. Well, uh, let's see now. Running instance. So I'm using the free tier T2 micro. So, and you see that public IP has been assigned and it, the private IP is 10.0.1.230. Now, here, now let's go to Patti and give the public IP, copy it and put it here. Now, data, I have already explained in my previous videos how to uh, log in, browse my ws key pair open data ec to user uh, if you want to know uh, details how to connect to an aws instance please uh, refer to my previous videos well i i call it uh, web server one and just save it so that I can again use it later open well it is now connecting that means I have an instance okay you see that 10.01230 this one right so I'm accessing from outside world the outside VPC that means my instance is created inside the VPC, inside a public subnet, and I am able to access it. That means it is connecting. And uh, you just check it, sudo yum update minus y. Uh, it is now connecting to internet and it is downloading all the packages and is, it is patching now, right? So with this, I just stop here and in my next video i'll be uh, creating uh, an rds or rds instance or maybe i'll just uh, try to create another instance just to check uh, that i'll create that in a private subnet and i'll try to give internet connection to that okay thank you for watching and let's see you in the next video